What's up, guys? So I'm sure you've heard that uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage passed away about six days ago. Um, back in the late 80s and early 90s, when I was growing up, about the ages of 9 through 13, I was a huge wrestling fan. I watched professional wrestling all the time and uh, was really into it. Um, you know, as a, uh, when I became a freshman in high school, um, I kind of forgot about wrestling and um, went on with my life and got into different things. Um, and every now and then you'd hear about a wrestler passing away um, who was in the industry at the time. And, um, you know, he kind of thought about it and went on with things. But for some reason, when uh, I heard about the Macho Man Randy Savage passing away, it kind of hit me in a profound way. Um, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, the times I had growing up watching uh, professional wrestling. And um, I've been looking through uh, different storage areas and... Uh, finally found this box. I knew I'd put um, all my wrestling, it says right there wrestling, uh, wrestling stuff. I had put uh, everything that I um, had collected when I was a kid about WWF wrestling into this box um, and I found it today. So I haven't opened it yet. Obviously the I found it this way. It's the masking tape that I used. Um, didn't really work well. As you can see, it's kind of flaked off right here and there's no stickiness to it so when I found it in the storage area um, where I finally uh, located it you know the box was loose so I can see a uh, few things that are in here but I haven't looked through it yet so I want to look through it right now um, just to see what I got let's open this up alright so we got a few rustling belts here intercontinental champion belt. I remember Macho Man Randy Savage was the Intercontinental Champion back in uh, WrestleMania 3. Uh, we got the tag team title belts right here. It says WWF right here on the insignia. Some of the, I guess, tag team champions I can remember that were memorable were uh, the Road Warriors, um, Demolition. That's all I can think of right now. I'm sure there's more, but... Um, so the deal with these belts, here's the old wrestling. Still got like we had to use a leather belt for this for some reason. Um, but that's like the uh um copy of the belt that was used in WrestleMania 4 um and 5 and all that. I knew this would be in here, this notebook, because uh you know, kids around the neighborhood and including myself would uh you know stage wrestling matches and um whoever was the World Wrestling Federation champion, you know, would take this belt home with them even though I owned it you know it was uh, something that uh, came out of my pocket basically and um, you know I'd let them if, uh, take it home if they won if they were the tag team champions they'd take the belt home and then when they came back and we had some free time and we'd wrestle we'd wrestle for the tag team title or the intercontinental championship so right here we got the list it says 1990 WWF tag team champions all the names of the people who won, who participated, you know, kids from the neighborhood who participated, who were wrestling fans as well. So you got the Intercontinental Champion right there. In the list, there's 21 of them. And the list goes on and on. U.S. Champ, can't remember the U.S. Championship belt, but I guess we had one. Um, and, you know, the dates, there's dates on them. 12, 21, 90. Yeah, and we were different characters, you know. If I don't know if you can see this, but... Um, Whoever was the champion was either Hulk Hogan or the Ultimate Warrior or Brutus Beefcake, you know, World Heavyweight Champion. There's a huge list of people who were the heavyweight champion in the neighborhood. It goes all the way to number 37. Last person who was champion was on April 1st, 1991. So it's uh, basically a log of all the people who were champions at the time. Um, Alright, I'm going to have to put down my beer. So I was a big Hulk Hogan fan. Um, I would say uh, my two biggest characters, my two, the two fans that I was the biggest characters of were Hulk Hogan and Randy Macho Man Savage. So there's another Hulk Hogan shirt. These are all small. If they were larger, extra large, I'd probably put them on eBay and sell them, but I don't think anyone wants these tiny shirts. It's a Macho Man shirt right there. I remember wearing this shirt uh, to... Um, go see Macho King and Ultimate Warrior live and uh, me and my friends were basically the only Macho King fans because at the time he was a heel and uh, everyone loved the Ultimate Warrior um, at the time so 
Hulkamania shirt. So I haven't seen any of this stuff in close to 20 years, so I can barely remember putting them up in my room. There's another Hulk Hogan banner, it looks like. Another Hulk Rule shirt. This is a tearaway shirt every time he went into the ring. You tear away his shirt, you know, throw it into the audience and a lucky member would get it. Demolition shirt, that's pretty cool. Another Hulk Hogan shirt. I don't want that. Why did I say at the bottom there? 24 inch pythons, yeah. Got a bandana, Hulkamania bandana. That's probably one of the first things I I got, you know. That's kind of old. Probably WrestleMania 2 or 3 right there. Purple shirt. Maybe it's a Macho Man. WrestleMania 6. Ultimate Challenge. Skydome Toronto. Right there. That's when Hulk Hogan lost to the Ultimate Warrior. Um, yeah, I was a big Hogan fan and Macho Man fan. And uh, when the Ultimate Warrior came, you know, I liked him, and uh, I thought he was a cool character and everything, but uh, for some reason I was like, you know, he won the Intercontinental Championship and then won the World Championship in WrestleMania Six against Hogan. Um, I remember being real upset when he beat Hogan, um, and uh, he was just like, he just came out of nowhere and just won everything, and um, yeah, there was just a big fan following, and you know, I didn't dislike him or anything, I just uh, wasn't a huge fan, I guess you could say. But uh, I liked him. He was a cool character. Um, oh, yeah, that was a picture of the Macho Man right there. Went and saw him. I think he was, uh, let's see, there's a ticket. Superstars of Wrestling, Tingley Coliseum, State Fairgrounds, January 26, 1989, 7.30 p.m. Cool picture of the Macho Man. Close to the ring and all the action. Every time I went to these uh, events, you know, I, I was lucky I got good seats. Looks like Ultimate Warrior swinging his belt around. Up on the top rope. That's a good picture of Ultimate Warrior right there. Some other pictures looks like... Alright, this one's uh, probably around 88 maybe. Uh, it's before WrestleMania 4. This is Hulk Hogan. Um, I remember seeing him in Tingley as well. I can't remember who he was, you know... Uh, what, who he fought, but he won the match. He's holding that title belt right there. Um, and that's the old title belt before WrestleMania 4. That's how I know it was kind of an uh, event before uh, 1989. Some more pictures of Hogan that I took. Him with the title right there. Alright. Big Boss Man poster. Probably came out of a magazine. And uh, yeah, I got a. I'm glad I didn't throw these out, actually. This is what I was looking for when I. Uh, I thought about this stuff because they might be collectible. Um, these are WWF magazines, Ultimate Warrior Wrestling, Ric Flair, on the cover of WWF. I guess he was champion, I can't remember him holding this belt, but I guess he was champion at one point. Ultimate Warrior, that's cool. Got Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair. I have no idea who that is screaming at Hogan, but Jake Snake Roberts. British Bulldog, remember those guys? Brutus Beefcake, right here on the program. Road Warriors. That's uh, Hogan and Ultimate Warrior on the cover of WWF magazine. I got Sports Illustrated Tyson. Look at that, Desert Storm. At the Hart Foundation, Brett the Hitman Hart, he was cool, man. I actually uh, going through a, a bookstore a couple weeks ago, and I ran into Brett the Hitman Hart's uh, memoir and read a few chapters, and it was really good. I might buy that book if I find it. So I got numerous uh, magazines, WWF magazines, various posters. Looks like Hogan on the cover of these, these two magazines right here. So I'm sure these are collectible. The Macho Man on the cover of this Wrestling Spotlight. Got a poster here.
Looks like a Macho Man and Elizabeth. It's pretty cool. You know, a lot of people in my generation, uh, you know, the uh, females they remember, I guess, uh, growing up are, um, you know, the Princess Leia and Return of the Jedi or Wonder Woman, but for me it's Elizabeth, man. She was, got Elizabeth right here. So I got a bunch of WWF magazines. I'm glad I didn't throw these out. I thought I had, so. Some other things I found in storage that weren't in that box. Um, got a couple of figures here. Looks like the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, was a great character. Um, fought against Macho Man Randy Savage in WrestleMania 4 for the title and lost. And he made his own title belt um, with diamonds and dollar signs, which was awesome. Got Hulk Hogan right here with the Hulk Rules t-shirt. Um, Demolition. They're my favorite tag team um, for some reason. You know, a lot of people like the Road Warriors, and I know that Demolition took a lot of what the Road Warriors kind of personified, um, and they were tag team champs for a while, but I really like them for some reason. Um, got the Ultimate Warrior right here, and I believe this is Rick Rude. Got the mullet back there. And then uh, Macho Man Randy Savage in his classic attire. So... Um, I used to have the ring, I don't know, I couldn't find it. And I also had other figures, um, before this, these plastic figures came out, there was kind of like these larger figures, um, that I had. Alright, so I got numerous posters, mostly Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. Got an Ultimate Warrior poster right there, I just got one of those. Um, there's one right here, it says Macho Madness. Poster of Macho Man with the title belt, after WrestleMania 4. But, uh, there's one... A couple posters I just want to look at with you guys that I haven't opened yet. It says Miss Elizabeth on here, so let's check this out. Nice, got a poster of Miss Elizabeth. Right there. Miss Elizabeth again. Very 1980s retro workout gear right there. <laughs> Very colorful. Last poster right here. It's uh, Miss Elizabeth with the Macho Man title belt. There you go. Also found this. WrestleMania 3. This was the biggest event, man. Um, Andre the Giant, who was undefeated for for his whole career, basically, and Hulk Hogan. Um, I believe it was at the Pontiac Silver Dome in Detroit, um, and they had a attendance record for it. And um, also, Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ricky the Steamboat Dragon um, is basically one of the best wrestling matches in professional wrestling history. So I'm going to uh, grab a few more beers and put this in the old VCR and check out some matches. An exciting evening. Now I am standing here with the lovely Elizabeth, whose pleasure it is all mine. It's nice to meet you, Elizabeth, but are you just a little trepidatious about today? Oh, Very. trepidatious is the word. <laughs> Are you must be fascinated with the macho man, Randy Savage. You want to ask me any questions? I'll answer them one by one. Go ahead. To tell you the truth, I was really looking forward to talking to the lovely Elizabeth because About she's the macho so... man, Randy Savage, and her got no heavyweight champion, huh? Yeah, Is yes, it always this yes. way? Oh, well, I can't believe it, man. Fascinating is the word of the day, and enthusiasm is where I go. Elizabeth! Down that aisle. Okay, oh, yeah. Elizabeth, I'd love to talk you to you a little bit my later phone on. Numbers on the back of my license plate. You are a real charm. <laughs> the champion can get disqualified. The champion can get counted out. He'll lose the match and the winner's money, but he'll hold on to the title. Here's to the Macho Man. Oh, yeah.